Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Remember Me. I'm Count Zero, and last time we broke out of prison again, and broke a whole bunch of other people out of prison, and I'm going to redo my combos real quick. Do I have enough pressings to set up an, a real combo in the top combo slot? Alright, so now I have three active combos. So, uh, currently there is a big thing going on where the corporation that makes the sense and technology, Memorize, is turning the, um, ba the Leapers into their sort of computer-controlled so foot soldiers. And so... We have to go stop that project. I also picked up this new, neat new ability here. Um, not so much thinking with portals as thinking with the gravity gun. Um, though with not as much gravity gun related puzzles to it. It's kind of a, a mild PK mechanic. Light plus their leapers, which means we're going to be attacked shortly. Possibly we might open that Okay. Someone over here won't get attacked. Nice how the robots are still working. So I want to briefly address something that was mentioned in the comments. Um, is... I can do this fight first. Oh! We have... Okay. So these are the normal guys. Uh, we get another... We later get a fight with one of the Brutes, where we also have some of the Wraiths in there, and you have to take out the Wraiths before you can successfully pick him out. Okay, so, as I was about to say, um, in the past I have made some allusions and references to previous science fiction works um, in connection to this game. This is not meant to be a criticism of this game for mentioning it in the same light as, well, the works of Philip K. Dick. Um, no work of science fiction exists in a vacuum. Um, all works of space opera, and to a certain extent, draw connections and illusions and so forth all the way back to, um, well, E.E. E. Doc Smith and, Le and Lensman. Um, the cyberpunk genre, wherever all the bits of William Gibson's work would stand alone incredibly well, um, draw a lot of illusions back to Philip K. Dick, and so forth and so on. So, while earlier I mentioned Philip K. Dick and mentioned other science fiction writers over the course of this, don't think of this as a, as a, compar as a negative comparison to either of those works or creators, as much as it is basically a way of saying, hey, if you enjoy this story, you should, um, you should check out these writers, or... Alternatively, if you enjoy um, those writers, you may enjoy the story of this game. That's all. I like exposing people to new works and new creators who they might not otherwise be exposed themselves to. Um, this is a good example of that. And I've got ooh, 5,000 XP before I level up again. Um... So, I uh, need collectibles or narrative um, pickups around here I can use to expand on the world building? Nope. Bummer. Alright. Oh, that's, that, that's charming. Another commission? Je suis pas une sorte de valet obéissant, Edge. Et je ne suis pas ta conscience, Dylan. Tu es aussi libre que tout être humain. That's an interesting little counter compared to, say, um, the bits in, uh, for example, um, well, Bioshock with the 
plot objective path is through operant conditioning, though uh, here the other thing might work as well with that line of there is free as any other human um, because we still don't have all our memories back and we also are I mean at no point in the game are we as a player really given the option to just walk away we can't choose to go okay we're done we're skipping town I've had enough of you and your and your errorist revolution and to some degree the the, the in-between level uh, narrations um, from Nilan explain why she has these why she makes these decisions so we get some explanation for why Ni we get a little bit of explanation for why Nilan's making the decisions to keep going here um, but it's not quite the same it's sort of from the point from the perspective of me as a play person who's sort of role playing as Nilan through the, over the course of this game um If that makes any sense at all. Uh, I never get the option to, as Nilan, leave. And the, I guess the best way to, to counter explain this um, is that as the person who's playing as Nilan, um, while Nilan is, discusses leaving and, and skipping out of the revolution and all this. At no point do we see a... Tommy dit que tu as débarqué un jour dans son bar, tel une âme à la dérive, dans une mer de regrets. Il a tout de suite su que tu allais être des nôtres. Mais qui peut se fier à sa mémoire de nos jours Parfois, je me dis que tu es meilleur poète que révolutionnaire. Peut-être que je le suis dans un monde parallèle. Anyway, at no point do we really see um, a scene where Nilan has a chance to leave and and has a chance to take it, but doesn't. Uh, new journal entry. That is ah the dam. Okay. Not much major world building there. It's mostly minor compared to stuff like the uh, hospital ship and the confortress. We never actually went into the dam. Citoyen de Neo Paris, ne craignez plus les Deepers. Grâce au projet Reconversion, ils vivent désormais pour vous servir fidèlement. So we know better than that. Open spot right there. Then there we can go. Okay, so this one's a little tricky. It's got a uh, loop path. I believe I missed that one. Okay, this one's also kind of tricky because we have to get to that door. Okay, no, no, I don't miss that one because we have to open the shutter. When the shutter's opened, the drone goes inside, close it again, the drone's trapped in there. At that point, I can move up. Let's continue, let's continue with the objective. Now I can shoot the shutter back open again. The drone comes out, I have room to go run by, grab the focus boost, and then on its next pass, escape, and sure what the heck, let's trap the uh, drone in there again, so that the next error is to come through, 
doesn't have to worry about the drone as well. La force sabre a verrouillé le quartier. Actually, have leapt over before, but the nice they gave you a slightly different option for a slightly different route this time. There's going to be a pickup to get as a reward for taking that path. Um. And security helicopters. L'eau a dévasté le quartier. Ces gens ont tout perdu. Et c'est notre œuvre. Le monde entier se noie, Frangine. Tu es la seule qui puisse nous lancer une bouée. Edge, tu me parles en énigme. Tu es mon scalpel, Nilin. Une arme contre une planète gorgée de tumeurs. Un scalpel. Bonjour la métaphore. I'd say that, um... Hmm. I do like that Nilin has chose a degree of remorse with the, uh... To the damage done here, huh? There's another route down there. Let's backtrack. The edge, drop down. There's a way to hack the comps. Ooh, set patch, nice. It's really like as part of this, that was like a side objective to hack the comms to retask the security uh, services to rescuing survivors over hunting down terrorists. A nice little thing which would um, play up with the uh, with the objectives of our mission while it's also still being kind of humane. And addressing with Nil with address Nilan's uh, objections to what's been going on. Okay, so... That said, a lot of these puzzles are fairly straightforward. Also, in defenstrate these guys. Actually, you know, there's a defenstration when there's no window to knock them out of. There's just off a ledge. And there's no railing kill. And that's it. Also, there's water down there, so it feels a bit more... Ooh, close call. Less lethal than when my... Nilan was kicking people into the toxic sludge in the sewers. <laughs> One shot, um, or otherwise, um, that was weird with the camera there. Well, perhaps there's a side objective that we saved civilians from a uh, leaper attack. Nothing down there. Yeah, nothing down there. Interesting floating debris effects, though. Right, um, what direction is next? Okay, so up. I do like this kind of navigation a lot more than um, just basic platforming. I 
we're not to we we've cut off as lot as much we don't have as many of these skill related puzzles here as in earlier sequences, but anyway, we'll we'll pick up next time.